We have been waiting for this day for so many days. If you guys don't know, hi, welcome back to my channel. My name is Elias Bertrand and we are on how to get back in shape. I have been completing my program called Shred and we are in week three and I'm so excited for this week because this is when the gears start to pick up. And so this, <laughs> excuse me, sir. As I was saying, I'm hype, I'm excited, and this video is going to be all about how to get in the best shape of your life. I will be doing everything that's within my program, Shred, so if you guys wanna join me on this journey, you are more than welcome to. Shred is available on my website, and that's actually gonna be the workout that I'm doing today. I also wanna make this very practical, because you guys know me, I love giving like the tips and the advice and sharing like, here are all the things that are gonna help you lose fat and build muscle, but I also wanna practically show you what what that looks like on a day to day because sometimes like the advice people give in the fitness industry can feel a little fluffy. It can feel a little like, okay, so what am I doing? So hopefully we can tackle like two birds in one stone with this video. And the first thing we're gonna be doing is working out. It is 8.30 in the morning. And that goes back to tip number one for me on how to get in the best shape of your life work out first thing in the morning because that way you don't have any excuses later on things pop up we get really busy say work becomes super crazy and hectic that day if you get your workout done in the morning you don't have to worry about it so i love waking up immediately drinking my coffee exhibit a and now we're gonna go get this spicy little workout in and i'm so excited Hopefully you guys can hear me okay in the gym right now. We started off walking on the treadmill. Set number one is just a 10 minute walk or jog, taking it at your own pace, getting your body nice and warmed up, as you can tell from me out of breath right now. And then set two is either an incline at three to six incline, and then you can take it at a jog or a fast paced walk at your own pace. I started off doing a fast paced walk and then I turned it into a jog and now we just hit set one landmine thrusters taking it into a nice deep squat and then pressing the barbell up it's gonna work your entire body I mean your glutes your lower body your upper body your core like I'm feeling it everywhere you want to make sure you're really pushing through your heels and sitting back and then coming up that's actually something I struggle with a lot so I love starting off with more difficult movements for me things that I'm really trying to work on from a form standpoint because I'm not super exhausted and fatigued and then normally by the end of my exercises or workouts if there's any movements I really want to prioritize and focus on, I will add those in at the end because I know I kind of got the form down. So with the last exercise, I forgot that we're technically supposed to superset that with landmine rotation so I just threw that in after that's really gonna focus in on your core and I'm not gonna lie it burns so be prepared my second tip when it comes to getting into the best shape of your life is to take it at your own pace I built my shred program for sustainable fat loss and muscle building and what I see so often are people are like getting back into it say like they just had a baby or they've been off of working out for a very long time and they're like yeah I'm ready to get back on track zero to 100 I'm doing it all don't stop me and I feel like that's how we normally set ourselves up for failure if you purchase my program you should take all of the workouts all of the exercises at your own pace if a couple of movements are too difficult for you or you've never done them before just feel them out do very lightweight really feel and try to get the best proper form or if you need to modify do that don't be afraid to take it slow take it at your own pace remember that fitness is an addition to your life it does not have to be the entire thing that's when you see long-term success okay so one of those barbell reversal lunges were ugly Okay, they were not pretty. Set two is a little bit better, but like, just call that out because, oof, my legs were shaking.
finished our workout we are about to hit the sauna for about 15 to 20 minutes i'm a little nervous to bring my headphones in there but i might try it out for the first five minutes and then see how it goes we are in the car and we're at our favorite place chipotle and we're going to have lunch because i am starving and i want to talk to you guys before we go in about tip number three on how to get in the best shape and that is creating a routine i know no surprise i talk about routines morning routines night routines productivity routines all the time on my channel but i talk about routines so much because that is the way i have been consistent by setting a routine based on your goals it's going to help you so much in staying consistent so I guess this is kind of like two parts the first part is setting clear goals knowing what you're trying to reach and then after you know what you're trying to reach it's about creating routines like your day-to-day -day habits that are gonna help you get there we just really have to take it day by day and moment by moment but that has always helped me so we're gonna go get some chipotle this smells delicious I just love eating Chipotle. I feel like it takes the day from here to here like every single time. Tip number four, fat loss is not a hard science. People overemphasize the science of fat loss. Don't get me wrong, it is a science game to some degree. You can calorie count, you can macro count, you can learn your body fat percentage and how much muscle you have and what your weight is. There's completely and 100% a science to fat loss. There is also psychology when it comes to fat loss. There's also understanding our bodies and understanding what our bodies need. And what I wanna get across in this tip is that sometimes I feel we overemphasize the science and underemphasize the psychology and that's where so many people get overwhelmed and they feel stuck and they either sometimes hit a plateau or they don't even start because they feel like they don't understand how to start. They don't understand how to get in the best shape of their life so they just stop. And you guys know I talked about my weight loss journey in a couple of videos ago and I told you in that video when I first started I didn't understand how to count calories. I didn't understand macros. I didn't understand body fat percentage or all of this stuff that I explained to you guys in shred. I didn't know any of that. Okay. And I just want to share this point because I fully know and understand how overwhelming it can feel to start. And if you do purchase shred, what I try to do is take it step by step in four different phases so that you fully understand the science if you're interested in that. But in this video specifically, I want you to understand that just as much as we can count calories, just as much as we can count macros, just as much as we can count our the body fat and the scale and stepping on the scale and doing all of these things, we can also understand our bodies and understand our behavior, what causes us to do certain things so that we can better understand how to achieve fat loss for us. So what I wanna do right now is share with you guys a couple of realistic tips that help me I'm gonna break the practical tips into two parts, so I'm gonna share the rest a little bit later today. But the first grouping of the practical tips that help me is drinking electrolytes first thing in the morning with water. I actually don't have my two electrolytes with me, so it's kind of funny that I'm saying this because I didn't do it today, and now I'm like, but do it, it helps me, but I don't even have it to show you. There's two different ones that I drink that I'm gonna put on this screen here. One is by Dr. Berg, which ugh, if you do wanna understand the science of fat loss more, he's a great resource on YouTube. And the other one is just this incredible, deliciously tasting electrolyte powder that I drink all the time. And why electrolytes are important when it comes to your fat loss journey is because to lose fat, we have to be in a calorie deficit. And so when we are taking in like less food, AKA less fuel, we have to ensure that our bodies are still getting the energy that it needs. And those electrolytes are gonna help you still feel energized and replenished even though you're taking in less calories. The second tip is to focus less on eating a perfect diet and to focus more on portion control and 
protein. Protein is normally the number one reason why people are still not feeling satisfied as they go about their fitness journey. So you wanna make sure you're getting 30 to 50 grams of protein every single day. That's gonna help make sure that every time you sit down and have a meal, after that meal, you're not starving two hours later. My next practical tip is to make sure you are sleeping seven to nine hours every single night. Sleep is so underrated. They have found that being sleep deprived increases your calorie intake the next day by four 440 calories. So making sure you prioritize your sleep during your journeys is so important. And my last practical tip, which is what we're about to do right now, is 30 to 60 minutes walking every single day. Nikki's outside waiting for me, so we're just gonna walk around. There's a cute little farmer's market and we're just gonna get our steps in. Now this is the weather I'm talking about. This is why we moved to Florida. This sunshine, you can't beat it. You can't beat it. Now I feel like every time we're outside walking, we have to give you guys a dog update as we're talking about them. But Nick just brought up a really good idea that we could get our dogs a little bit older so that we don't have to potty train them. Yeah. So we'll see. But if anyone too has any thoughts, comments, he wants a Doberman, I want a cockapoo, we're thinking about getting them a month apart. Any advice, please just let us know in the comments because we'll take anything we can get. So about an hour ago, I told you guys about one of the electrolyte drinks and we went to the grocery store during our walk and this is one that I was referring to. Liquid IV, you put it in about six to eight ounces of water and you blend it together. Number one, it tastes so good. I get the strawberry lemonade flavor. There's other flavors as well and such a great drink to have first thing in the morning with some water as well. While we were walking by the farmer's market, there's this stand that has acai bowls and I was like, oh, that would be so good right now. But instead of buying one, because we don't know how much sugar it is, we bought stuff to make one. So we're gonna make an acai bowl and talk nutrition. Never bought them in chunks like this, so we'll see if it's good. Normally I just do frozen fruit and then add acai powder, so. We'll see if I like this. This will also be great to show you guys how I track my calories. So when you're buying things that are in packages like this, it makes it so easy. Or for instance, Chipotle this morning. Chipotle actually has a calorie tracker on its website. So all you have to do is go in, plug everything that you eat and estimate. Nothing's ever going to be perfect, but it does give you a good idea of how many calories you're eating. And then for this, it says there's five servings per container one cup is one serving. So we'll see how much one cup gets us. Here she is. If I could go back, I would redecorate this bowl but you know it is what it is it's still gonna get the job done as in fuel me and then on the side here i have my electrolyte powder this by the way very good when it comes to our last tip on how we can get in the best shape of our life, it's around nutrition. And I wanna talk about this very similarly to how we talked about the last tip from a science standpoint and from a psychology standpoint. Where I'm at in my journey, if you guys have been following along the past couple of weeks, now that I know what my maintenance calories are, which means roughly how many calories I'm eating every single day on an average, I'm going to now subtract 10% of that. So 
this is kind of getting into the science of it, the numbers. Because I wanna be transparent with you guys, I'm gonna tell you how many calories I'm going to be eating, but I share this with so much hesitancy because I don't want us to get wrapped up in comparisons, thinking about how many calories Elias is eating versus how many calories you need to eat because all of our bodies are different and I have a pretty fast metabolism because I was an athlete for such a long period of time. So just caveat that. So I was eating roughly about 2,225 calories. And so 10% of that is going to be about 200, 202, literally 222. And so just to make numbers easy, I'm now going to be eating 2000 calories every single day. And again, still trying to make sure I'm also getting my water in, still trying to make sure I'm hitting my protein goals and balancing the carbohydrates and the fats. So that's what I'm gonna be eating starting today and onwards for the next couple of weeks. And we will take it from there. You may be asking, where did I get the 10% number from? And that's from my own research that I've done and what I've also placed in my shred program. 10% allocates enough of a calorie deficit, but also ensures that our bodies don't go into panic and freak out mode. Because if we do go into a calorie deficit too quickly, our bodies don't react very well. And you can learn more about that in my shred program, or you can go back and watch the how to lose fat video that I posted a couple months ago. I dive into all of the science behind our metabolism in that video and why we want to make sure we go into a calorie deficit because that's how we're gonna achieve fat loss, but we have to make sure we're doing it in a way that our bodies are not completely deprived. But from a psychological standpoint, I'm gonna be making sure that I'm drinking my electrolytes and drinking water. So what I do to figure out how much water I should be drinking is I take my body weight and I divide that in half. And whatever that number is in ounces, that's how many ounces of water I should be drinking every single day. So for instance, say you weigh 100 pounds. If you divide that in half, that's 50. So you should be drinking 50 ounces of water every single day. So as I told you guys with tip number four, I had a couple other real and practical tips that are gonna help you achieve your goals. And so I wanna share those with you. Coffee can suppress your appetite. So you guys may notice that every single morning I drink coffee and that's partly for a reason. I normally have two, sometimes three meals a day, depending on like my intermittent fasting hours. And so coffee will always be the first thing that I drink in the morning with water and that helps me not have an appetite until I have my first meal. So if you're someone where you're hungry a lot, I would recommend increasing your protein intake, making sure that you're hitting that 30 to 50 grams of protein every single day and try drinking coffee. It really, really helps me. And then we didn't touch on this earlier when we were working out because I was like a little bit busy sweating it up. But when it comes to my workout routine, that's the last practical tip that I want to give you guys as a guide. So my shred program lays out all of the workouts for the entire week so you don't really have to worry about it, but say you don't end up buying that program, the best way to think about working out is in two ways. One, find movement that you enjoy. I know that's so oversaid, but it's oversaid for a reason. You should be excited to go do whatever that form of movement you're going to do. And if you're not, you should think about switching up your movement or your exercise for that day. And number two is I like to think of my movement in categories of three. I try to hit three cardio sessions a week, three strength training sessions a week, and three high intensity interval trainings every single week. So three cardio, three hit, three strength training sessions. If you're able to do that balance on top of walking two to three times a week, you are going to be gold. I think having it numbers based like that to where you're like, okay, on Monday, Wednesday, and Friday, I'm gonna lift, and on Tuesday, Thursday, and Saturday, I'm going to walk, or I'm going to do a Orange Theory session because that's hit, or I'm going to just mix up my cardio, but in some way, shape, or form, I'm going to do a cardio exercise. Go swimming do biking do there's so many cardio forms of cardio out there just find the one that works best for you that really helps me practically 
If you guys are interested, of course, you can always just buy my shred program because that just lays out all of the workouts and all of the programming for you so that you don't have to think about it. And that's what I'm going to be doing the next couple of weeks alongside other forms of cardio as well, like walking like today or hit or whatever I feel like doing that day. I always finish talking to you guys and I'm like, oh, I really hope what I just said made sense, <laughs> but I... I'm so excited for these next couple of weeks. I'm so excited to be going after these fitness and fat loss and muscle gaining goals. And I hope this video helped you guys and gave you inspiration and motivation for what you can do in your life. If you guys like videos like this, please give it a thumbs up because it supports me so much. And don't forget to leave a comment down below letting me know where you're at in your journey. Are you just getting started? Are you getting back into it? Have you been on your journey for a while, but you hit a plateau that helps me know how I should just form my advice and the things that I share with you guys and also let me know if anything didn't make sense that I shared I promise I won't be offended I am just truly trying to help you guys as best as I can so I love you guys so much and I will see you on the next project comeback get shredded something video whatever we film next week <laughs> okay bye guys same day, a couple hours later, I made some cookie dough, some oatmeal chocolate chip cookie dough because I wanted to. And I wanted to document this so that you guys saw me make oatmeal chocolate chip cookie dough and eat it. I'm still on a fat loss journey, by the way. Didn't stop, still trying to build muscle, but I also wanted cookie dough. I thought this would be the most appropriate way to end the video. Showing you guys me baking cookies because I wanted to. I love you. <laughs> Don't look at my busted nail. <laughs> Good night. <laughs>